All right, congratulations, you have a code of conduct. Um, so what I would like you to do right now and what we're going to talk about is creating a reporting system. Uh, and reporting is everything. Uh, if there's one thing that's the most important thing is having a solid reporting system. People tend to under-report all the time um, for whatever makes them feel uncomfortable. Uh, so, so, so it's really important that there's an easy way to reach you, um, that people know what to do, and that's, that it's really easy and that it can be instantaneous. Um, so I would suggest you have a strategy of having a, a, a big diversity um, of ways to report to you if someone has an experience that feels uncomfortable to them. And so there's several ways that I usually uh, set up. Uh, the first one uh, that I want to do is to identify the safer space team to the participants and to the people of the group. Uh, so to be very clear with everybody who comes into your space, those are the people who you can talk to if you have an, uh, an experience that uh, feels uncomfortable. Um, usually that's not how it goes though. Um, usually when, people, when someone has an uncomfortable experience, most of the time they will talk to your friend uh, and then that friend can, can come and talk to you. Um, so, so, but even that friend needs to know who to talk to um, if, if they have a report. Um, so first I think it's important to identify the member of your uh, Safer Space group. Uh, the second thing um, that I do usually is uh, I like to have a box um, where people can just slide a piece of paper um, if they want to share any um, uh, uncomfortable experience that they had or suggestion for improvement and so on and so on. Um, there's a few things that I like to do uh, for, for uh, those boxes. First, I like those boxes to, be, to lock um, so that no one can um, take what has been put in it or can read it. Um, and it also creates the feeling of safety for the people who are going to uh, put the, the report in um, because then they're more comfortable that what they're sharing will stay um, will stay there. Um, I also like to have it in a place that's not too obvious and that people don't see people just like very obviously slide something uh, in the box because that might trigger some uh, conversation. So, so I like to have it in a place that's a little discreet um, and the third thing I'd like to do for, for this type of boxes is to also invite positive feedback. Um, saying if you have an uncomfortable experience or if you have someone you want to shout at because they've been awesome uh, or something like that, you can slide a piece of paper in it. Um, and that achieves two things. Uh, the first thing is you get, um, uh, you get thumbs up. Um, and I think it's also important to, to have good and positive role models in your space. Um, so I think that helps, uh, but mo more importantly, um, it kind of like takes away the, um, the stigma or the pressure that if you're sliding something in the box, it means that something bad happened to you. Um, it kind of creates a blur or a shield um, with the fact that maybe you're actually putting a positive reporting, uh, a positive report. Um, and so it kind of takes the, the, the edge off of, of sliding a piece of paper in it. Um, and then I think the third thing that I like to set up is having also an online form um, that can be anonymous. Uh, and I think that's, uh, that's also uh, really important because sometimes you don't realize that you had an uncomfortable experience until you get home um, and it can feel very intimidating to go and talk uh, to someone about it or to like slide a physical piece of paper in. Uh, but an, on an online form um, is a little more um, uh, relaxed and, and the fact that it can be anonymous uh, will help people um, <coughs> feel safer into, into submitting that, uh, that report. Um, so those are the three uh, elements that I would uh, suggest. I also think it's really important to uh, maybe have displays or have announcements um, to encourage people to, to share um, reports and, and to come and talk to you if they have any uncomfortable experience. So again, gather your Safer Space group and I would like now for you to set up your reporting system. That means probably going on Google and creating a Google form uh, for your, um, your system, going to a store to get a box that has a lock where you can slide in uh, pieces of uh, paper and maybe making some, uh, um, some prints 
of uh, your safer space team that you can display in your space um, or sending an email to announce uh, to everyone that you have a, space, a safer space team and that people can report uh, to them. All right, have fun. <laughs>